Hey, hey angels. angels! Welcome back to our channel, Herbie. Welcome back to our channel, everybody. We have missed you guys so much. Today we have a fun video for you guys. We thought we could do a bit of a juicy assumptions vid. Both Connor and I have asked on our Instagram stories for you guys to send in your juiciest assumptions. I feel like we haven't done a video like this in quite a while, actually. There are do some new reckon? assumptions that have popped up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... There are some new assumptions. Yeah, I can see that. I've had a couple of new ones there's in the there. There's the standard. And then there's some new new. And because Naive proposed, it was like a big assumption that took time up before in the assumptions. So that question's no longer. Yeah. That assumption is no longer here. We've got new Phew. ones that's taken the place. Oh my God, you know what? I've not even... <gasps> Guys, if I've got a lisp, because I just noticed oh. it then. If I've got a lisp, it's because I am being good and wearing my Invisalign. Connor is... I've taken mine out because my lisp is so... No, it's not. Large it's not. That I feel like I shouldn't burden the angels with Connor's my lisp. Connor's having one of his half an hour breaks. We yeah. get a four half an hour breaks. We're not really sticking to it very well at the moment, are we? We're still getting used to it. We're only a couple of days in. Yeah, in the evenings, we'll be like, right, we'll take our Invisalign out to eat our dinner and then it literally doesn't go back out, in until yeah. we go to bed. So we need to get... Better with it. So yeah, if you can hear a list, it's because I'm my mind is fine. Isn't it a 10 minute assumption? Can I just say it's something? Last time on it. 11 11? No, 12.22. And I saw 11 11 this morning. Well, it's 12 22 and, mean? Well, it's 2 2 2. What does that mean? I have seen nothing but recurring numbers. What does that mean though? I'm it's angel you. numbers, Colin. Your angels are all around you. I'm not, so I'm not talking about two, these ones. What about 1 1? Yeah. What about 1 1 2 2? Yeah, I, I'm you're, not joking. You're just really no, good stuff. Honestly, up. no, I'm no. not. I've, I've been seeing numbers like that for about a week straight. Every day. Yeah, but like I say, I look at the fucking what about like, one, two, three, four consecutive numbers? Is that a thing? Well, don't no. tell me it is. No, I don't think that is. But it like, I've be. been looking at the clock and seeing 11, 11. Two, 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 or two, two, one, one. That's one I've been seeing a lot. Anyway, I that what? Was 11 really minutes past 10 at night? Yeah. Enough of that gossip. Let's get on to the juicy gossip. I'm gonna spill some beans today as well. Are I'm you? Gonna, I'm gonna tell the angels exactly God. how it is. No messing, no playing. Oh God. Good luck, angels. The, the angels Both are getting yourselves. It. Okay, okay, if you're gonna spill the beans, Con. Here's on. one. Con has spent more than £10,000 on your engagement ring. Oh. You wanna spill the beans? Ah. Oh. What are you doing to me? A strain the deep end. But the answer is. Yes, I did. But it, it doesn't it? matter. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much money you spend mm. on a ring. It is. I told Connor before he proposed to me, and he was like, he took me ring shopping to Tiffany's and stuff like that. I literally said, I couldn't care if you proposed to me with a Haribo ring. It is just the gesture yeah. that means the most. And honestly. Honestly, that is the truth. But um, yeah, when Connor told me how much it cost, I was a little bit shocked. Yeah, Ellie knows. Ellie knows the full price. Yeah, I was. I was shocked, and I asked him why. He thought <laughs> it was okay to spend that much money, but Connor had his you, reasons. So yeah, but I absolutely love my ring so much. And it's your perfect ring, so it's worth it is my, every it is my dream ring. single. It's my dream penny. ring. I can't believe how perfect he got it. Connor has used some kind of steroids in the past. <gasps> What? Why are you so against me? <laughs> no, I've never touched a story in my life, actually. But you did pull a prank on your mum. And tried I to pull did. it on me once, didn't you? That was Con the start of our relationship. Yeah, Connor had a drawer in his Basically, bedroom. angels. Long story short, I used to have an old school printer. And the way you would get ink in the printer, <laughs> believe it or not, was actually with a syringe and you would like inject it in the hole. Um, and this was like literally when I first started the gym and my mum saw it, she was like, oh my God, Con, you're on steroids, what are you doing? Get out of the house, you're not welcome here. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing steroids under my room. <laughs> I'm like, so, I'm not taking steroids, what are you on about? I'll never take steroids. Yeah, but no, but didn't you tell her you were one day or something? Oh, oh yeah, I, was, I just went along with it for the bands. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Con reminds his mum up that it's like their relationship, they just wind each other up but yeah never touched it hopefully never will no you never will you never will. that's the answer right con mm. how much tea are we actually spilling all of it no but all no, of but it really no, no this really. is a jug of tea 
Get it out there. No, but really. All of it. What's the question? Tea. Tea. We'll go in TMI. We'll go in too much information. That's how much tea we'll go in. You're getting another dog this year. <gasps> Who knows? <laughs> you're not spilling the tea. Let's see. You give it all that, That's and then tea. you actually don't even spill. Yeah, the but tea. who knows? You know, who knows? Well, we know. It would be well. Yes or we no. We kind of know. Yes or no. Isn't it? Who we, knows? we know if it's yes or no. I would love to have another dog by the end of the year, but who knows? <laughs> Oh, this is a nice one. Hiya, not to do with the video, but I just had curtain bangs put in today and I feel unreal. Well, Angel, welcome to the curtain bangs crew. I'm actually feeling that as well. You said I look like, um... Nikki Heaton. Nikki Heaton. That's a win for me. What's wrong with Ellie Darby? Claire? Ellie Darby. I'm with Ellie Darby. Look <laughs> at you. Yeah, I'm really liking it. So, all the angels out there that have had curtain bangs since I have... Welcome to the Curtain Bank room. Yeah, I bet all of you are rocking it as well. I bet all of yeah. you look good. Yeah, you'd all look gorgeous. I just feel like it... I thought everyone should get Curtain Bangs. Katie's got... No, I'm not going to... No. That's a bit of tea. <laughs> We're going all out. You're on the way to making a million pounds via Angel Collection. We're on our way. Of course we are. I feel like, cool, obviously, oh. like, you if make making money. If we are making sales, so we're on Even our if way. you make ten pounds, you're on your we're way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, we are on our way. Yeah. We're almost... No, I'm not. No, no we're not no. too much. We are just going to say we are very, very, very proud of Angel Collection, aren't we? Yes. It is like our... One of our babies. And we put so much hard work into yeah. it. And we appreciate every single one of you yeah. angels who purchase any item from the Angel yeah. Collection. Even if you go and look on the site yeah. and you don't actually purchase anything, it literally means the world to us and it helps us turn our baby... Into a into, proper business yeah. that, like, we're proud of. Yeah, um, yeah. I feel like I never, I don't really touch too much on like the business side of us on YouTube and our vlogs and things like that because I just genuinely don't know if anybody would be interested in it. But um, running your own business is so time-consuming, um, mentally draining at points. Like some days the entire day is filled with Angel Collection mm -hmm. and you just don't have time for anything else. And it's it's really, really yeah. hard work. It's really stressful and we're really, really proud of it. So, um, But it is also very rewarding. Yeah, really rewarding. When you the most rewarding yeah. thing, I think. Like, we had the birthday sweatshirt launch last night and you guys sold out within five minutes, which I'm Crazy. not even going to get into because I actually get emotional whenever I seriously sit down and think about it but um could, there had been so much like leading up to that moment and then me and Connor got a Domino's and a Papa John's because I get Ooh. Domino's and Con gets Papa John's and we sat down and watched a movie we took our and the we out. Had, yeah we <laughs> popped that out and we turned around and said to each other this is like our happiest moment we in life that like, is how we, we just, celebrate yeah comms right it's so rewarding when you have like a success with a mm. business that you've built from the ground up. Nobody helped us with Angel Collection. It was literally a two thousand pound um, input from us each, yeah. and for that's it. It's been job. all us, and we're so proud of where it's going. So that's a little Angel Collection detour for you all. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying for Katie's house. I thought that was quite an interesting assumption. Mm. There. Um, you've got bits oh, on your nose from no. when you showed. It's okay. Angels, I eat shade for you today, and now I've got it all over my face. You're probably laughing at me the whole video saying, what's on his head? <laughs> so I thought that was a really interesting assumption, but we're actually not. So this is obviously a really private matter. Mm -hmm. um, it's to do with my mum, and I feel like there are lots of things with my mum that I am more than happy to, like, you know, talk about on the internet and stuff, and there's obviously stuff that will always be kept private but we are not helping katie nobody is helping no. katie your mum left katie some money yeah. essentially and um she's set her up for life and that is and yeah katie should the be the most amazing thing yeah katie's happy yeah. which is the most amazing thing it's like the biggest step for katie yeah. ever like that she's ever been through um and Birdie tells me that Katie wants to show the angels a little bit of it as well. 
in the next video actually next that Birdie told so, me. Yeah so, yeah, so watch out for that. If you want to know a bit more about Katie's new home, check out our next vid. Throughout Katie's life there have always been specific milestones and I probably will touch on this more in the next video when like it's kind of a whole video dedicated around it but there have always been milestones throughout Katie's life that me, my mum and my dad specifically have always had great worry about just because obviously Katie is my I know she's my little sister but she's like my baby really mm. like she is just everything to me um and it's always been a great worry for her in in every sense kind of starting starting school and then she started at a um more special needs school then she went to secondary school then she went to college then she left college then she started work and now she's got a house all of these moments throughout Katie's life have been real I don't really know what the word is just so they have had such great pressure yeah on them. and taken with such care and yeah. made sure everything was right for Katie and not yeah. just jumping into something without knowing exactly what's gonna exactly happen so it's a really big moment for all of us in our family and um best thing about it as well is the excitement you see on Katie's face whenever yeah, you yeah. mention Let's go look at Katie's home. Yeah. She just smiles and yeah. that shows to me that it's the right thing yeah. to do. Obviously, I think I was the biggest one out of the entire family that had great reservations about it. Yeah. Um, I'm so... I, you will never meet someone that is more protective of someone else the way I am of Katie and my mum. Um, and I was the one in the family that was like quite reserved about the idea of it and all it took for me was one conversation with Katie about the situation and seeing the smile on her face about when she spoke mm. about it just completely turned my opinion around and made me realise that she is ready for the next step and I've got to stop being this protective big sister that like Katie's got her own life Annie, her. she's got her own friend, she's out there I don't know if I'll ever accept that <laughs> but um, yeah we're really really proud of her it would have obviously been my honour to help Katie financially, physically, in any way with the house, but I haven't helped her financially at all. But I will of course be there every single step of the yeah. way, physically. Your engagement was a fix and you <gasps> knew all along what was happening, still. M-G. Th this question was asked by a guy called Ricky and he asked quite a few, may I add? Rick? Ricky, I can tell you're in for the tea. Do you know what he said? Are you pregnant because you're looking a bit hefty? He said that. He didn't. Yeah. Tell me his address, I'm going to his house. <laughs> Rick, mate, <laughs> give it a rest. Reel it in, will you? Do you know what? I know this has been the number one thing for the haters to say, yeah? And people talk like they oh. know the facts. Yeah, right, do you know, do you know oh, what, I've been holding this back. Shit. I've been holding this back. These people talk like they have facts. And I will just say this, you lot, not you lovely angels, I'm talking about the haters, I'm mm. talking about the guru gossipers, I'm talking about the nasty people out there, yeah, that don't watch to be a part of the Angel Girl fan, they watch to just, just judge. judge and yeah. be nasty. You lot, I'm talking to you lot, you think you know, <laughs> and you don't. You so I will say yeah. that. I did not know about my Preach. engagement. I'm just gonna say, I've been with this guy for six years, yeah? He'd taken me ring shopping. He literally said in front of my face, I'm looking for an engagement ring. I knew it was going to happen. And with a lot of couples, I feel like you just kind of Get do yeah. know. Because you live with each other. You, like, share money. Yeah. You know your financial situations with each other. Mm. Not that that was something that gave me an inkling to, like, make me think that it was happening. I didn't know that Connor had paid for the ring and stuff like that. I, I didn't know any of the plans. But it was just the vibe. Even just down to... The night before Connor proposed to me, he turned around to me in bed and he was like, can I just say I love you so much? Obviously because in his head, <laughs> he's thinking, oh my God, I'm going to make this girl my fiance oh. tomorrow. It's just, you just know the person, you just know when it's going to happen. And two days before, when I had filmed that little clip that we had put into the engagement video, I had just been getting a vibe and that was it. Nothing yeah. major had happened. We I didn't knew know. nothing we didn't about the, the venue, likes. the no, this, the I that. literally knew absolutely Zilch. nothing about it. I just had a vibe. Yeah, and I'm sure, like, if any other couple was in our situation where we live together, yeah, like we share money, we do this, we do that, and we spend the majority of our time together, yeah, you would get a vibe when you know 
Something is gonna happen. Also, you don't know the details, really, you just know I'm something in tune may happen. With my gut feelings, so oh, you're psychic. And that is my psychic side of me coming out. But we didn't do it for likes, it wasn't fake, it wasn't staged. I'm sorry if our incredibly loving, happy, healthy relationship offends you. And if you haven't found your Prince Charm and Angels, he will come along. So you don't need to comment saying that our engagement was fake and staged. I promise you will find one day, if you have goodness in your heart, mm -hmm. you will find the person that does all of that for you and makes all of that effort for you to the point where people think it's staged because it's so bloody perfect. If you just start manifesting good stuff, manifest focusing it. on the good stuff in life, you'll get it. Oh, leading on from that actually, oh. somebody said, you look perfect as a couple, but you actually argue a lot behind the camera. <gasps> So, going off of We've what I just said... We've answered this quite a few times, to be honest. Yeah, we have. And it's um, always the same. Going off of what I just said, we're perfect for us, right? We actually don't argue, and that's not really saying that couples that argue shouldn't be together yeah. or that's wrong. It's just that us as our dynamic as two people, our friendship is such a core part of our relationship and the foundation mm. we have for life. And... We're just not argumentative people. Yeah, I think we're both so laid back. Yeah. If for whatever reason we were angry with each other. Yeah. We wanted a bit of a kick off. Yeah. We would just say it and the other person wouldn't retaliate in like an yeah. anger. They'd be like, you know what? I appreciate where you're coming from, Eddie, but you're yeah. wrong. And then we call it <laughs> But you say that in your head. But then, <laughs> and also like during some arguments, if we ever have an argument... The like I rational, really laugh, don't I? the rational side of me, deep down, is thinking, Ellie, in half an hour, this is going to be literally absolutely fine, and I, a takeaway, I have to yeah. like, yeah, stop myself from laughing mid argument because I just know that actually neither of us care that mm. deeply about the argument. Like it's just pathetic. Let's just get over it. What, like last night. What happened last night? When I got into bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, tell the angels about that. No, the angels I was ready the details. To, honestly. <laughs> no, come on, tell the angels. Tell the angels. This no. is an example of our argument, okay? It's no. not even an argument. No, because right. I don't even it's want the angels, I don't want the angels to think that relationships don't have arguments. It's like an entanglement. It it's not really an It was argument. an entanglement, like Jada Pinkett says. So basically, Alice goes to bed before me every night because she needs about 14 hours to sleep. I go to bed at about nine, half past eight, nine. I roll up about 11, half 11. <laughs> Get into bed. After making an absolute ruckus, brushing hey, his teeth, Ellie, I've got giving Herbie on. a massive drink last it's not my night, fault. <laughs> saying out loud, wow, Herbie, that's a massive drink. <laughs> no, because I came upstairs and he was already ready to get in there. I was like, oh, bloody hell, we must be thirsty. And he literally drank the whole drink. I know, I can't I believe heard. it. <laughs> and literally, Herbie, Herbie makes the most like dramatic <laughs> noises. noises when he drinks. Like He wants people to know he's drinking. <laughs> He's like, someone tell me I'm a good boy, I'm drinking my yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's... Anyway, I set my alarm for seven. I get up at seven to go to the gym. He has his phone on full brightness. He turns his phone light on when he's walking around the room. <laughs> I don't. don't you do. It's because Herbie runs about and I don't want to trip over him. Recently, I've been finding it difficult to get to sleep. Um, so, on my alarm app, it has a setting where you can like play nice beach sounds. <laughs> Then you hear the waves crashing together. And I've been doing it for about two weeks and it's helped me get to sleep. So I thought, you know what? It helps me go to sleep. I'm going to put it on. And Ellie's normally asleep, so she doesn't ever hear it. Because she's already asleep. Because they so much noise. And guys, I'm, I'm, I'm the stressiest I've ever been if I've been woken up when I oh, should yeah. be asleep. Like that, for me, over I just don't have any... I can't hold back. I'm like, I'm awake and I shouldn't be and I'm mad about it. So I put my music on. Actually, I say to Els, because like, she is up at this point, I said, look, Els, I like to listen to music. Well, I like to listen to like some sounds while I'm going to sleep recently. Could you could play your... Because we listen to Matthew McConaughey yeah. on the car map. So I was like, sometimes. you can listen to that if you want, because we both enjoy it. Or we'll just put mine on and I'll put it really quiet. <laughs> because that's, you know, I'm compromising there. And Ellie turns around and goes... You don't need to listen Connor, to that. Connor, I knew you were going to portray me in that tone of voice. You don't I need to listen to no, that. I didn't use that tone of yes, voice. Yes, you did. I just said... I was like, no, I was I honestly. Said, no, no, explain no, the situation. I said, ah, oh, two weeks. I've been listening to it two weeks. It really helps. I just listened to it. What's the problem? No, you're no, asleep no. anyway. You're like, you're you don't listen to it. You make it sound like you are you're the like, most compromising uh, person in the planet. I don't know if that's the truth. Doing, you're not. He said, Els, I need to listen to my music. Can we do my music or your music? And I said, your music. And he said, okay. And I said, 
you don't even need to listen to Ocon. And that's literally exactly no. how I said it. No, well, you're said, half asleep. Yes, you're I here. do, Ellie. I've been no, listening to it no. for two weeks. No, so, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I say, say I, no, no, I go, look, I've been listening to it for well, a while. you don't. Yeah, and you and kept saying goes, don't. I was like, he, Ellie, I you can't no, tell you me, a separate human being, what I can <laughs> and don't, what I do and don't need when I go to bed. No, and then he said, I said, no, you don't need to listen to it. And he goes, Okay then, Ellie. I just lie about everything I say, and I don't need to listen to this music. But I'm just saying it for the for the head of it. And you literally said it like that, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's exactly how you said it, isn't it?" No, and you know, I didn't say that. You know that's the truth, Con. I said Did it with some like, like sternness. He yeah. Said, okay then, Ellie. Yeah, because you've been saying good. You kept saying I didn't need it when I do. You didn't get to tell me what I do and don't need. But then after about a but minute of me that, lying there trying to get a seat with the music on, <laughs> Al goes, you're not going to say sorry then. <laughs> that's it. And then we both fell asleep. Yeah, that's our argument. But in what, love again. My point was, in the mo even in that moment when we're like snapping at each other, I know it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Like just shut up. It doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, these are just wasted words, really, because actually, neither of us genuinely feel angry. Like, it's just... I wasn't oh, angry. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to snap at you right now. I want to listen to my music. That's so funny. You're going to do outfit changes at the wedding. That Ooh. is a very spot-on assumption. I would like to be a bride that has a wedding dress and an evening dress. Hmm. We've discussed that, haven't we? I'll probably just... Do, I'll probably just keep the same suit, to be honest. Yeah, but Maybe I want to have an evening dress. Yeah. You have to have two dresses, honey. Come on. This is why I'm the way I am, because he hypes me up like that, guys. The candles you keep teasing. Oh, what? <gasps> they smell, that smells bloody does, gorgeous. Are a collaboration with the white company. Uh -uh, this is wrong. It is better than that. Although, a be collection cool. with the white company is probably my like <laughs> absolute dream career move. No, they are not. There's something else. There's something else, and that's all I'm gonna say. But it is the best candle. You will smell this ever. Year. This is actually quite a funny one. So your love language. Oh, I like this is one. Is quality time, and Ellie's is words of affirmation, and that's actually true. So that, that assumption is, time, is spot on. No, yours is acts of service, not quality oh. time. Well, your the assumption of yours. Words of affirmation. Yeah, that is true. I like acts of service. Bit tea there. Take that as you will, angels. No, angels don't take that as you will. Oh. Connor just means he literally. If I gets if you me to do if you bring me a drink, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Whereas if Connor said, "Oh my god, you look amazing," or "I love your hair like that," mm. or "You smell really nice." I do that quite often. Connor playing his PlayStation annoys Ellie. Come on, I would like no. to know that. No, it doesn't. Good. The only thing that annoys me, because Herbie gets upset if people talk in loud voices, really. Um, I swear Herbie actually can speak English. Like, even if we say a swear word... He knows what's going on. Herbie knows he loves he said a swear like, word and doesn't like it. Why He's literally swearing, like, I can't right? believe you just spoke like that. Like, that's horrible. Yeah. He gets the vibe. So it doesn't... I don't like it when Connor is like shouting at his PlayStation on the game to his mates because he gets really heated and then Herbie ends up lying on my chest and I can't breathe. So I, that's when I tell Connor off and we just shut the door and Connor speaks quietly. But I actually time. quite like it when he goes and plays PlayStation because oh, it means I can that. watch whatever I want on the TV. He pays for everything. Tell the angels this isn't true. They need to know. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. I've got a lot of, like that as well. <laughs> no, that is completely false. Um, should we go into finances and bits like that, or is that boring? Um, General gist of it boring. is basically we have one company, business bank account, and we both get a salary out of that. Yeah. And that is like all of our earnings. And And then we just pay stuff. If it's mine, I'll pay for it. If it's Eddie's, Eddie's will pay yeah. for it. If it's joint, guess what? We both pay for it. Connor is a better cut than Eddie. Ding, no. ding, 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 ding. What's wrong with you? Ellie, please just admit for once What's in your life. What's wrong with you? My cooking ability is... That chicken is... pie I cooked the other mm. night. Yeah, it was good. But if I cooked that no, chicken pie... No, this is it nasty. Would be nicer. That's not nasty. This is nasty, the way you think like that. No, Ellie. I cook some bloody great food. You do. But... And you couldn't do it I better. Would... Did you see the cookies you made? I'm sorry, they ended up like meringues. <laughs> They were not my finest creation, I'll admit that. You're but just not good at cooking, so why don't you explain I am that? good at... Else, 
Have you, you tried my chicken breast? And my avocado. That's not cooking. That's, That's cooking. Mashing up an avocado That's cooking. Pot. Who makes the best eggs on taste of avocado? Me. Oh. You gave me the end of the loaf the other day when I just throw it in the bin. Yes, because was, I could have gagged. Most people aren't that fussy. Con, we've been together for over six years. Are you would have thought that you wouldn't I don't like the end of the loaf. Yeah, but you did say to me earlier, Con, I'm so hungry, can you please make me some this food? Yeah, as but fast I would have thought that that's just like something a great chef would have not have done. So you proved yourself to be not a very good chef. Right, angels, I feel like that is as much tea as we can possibly You got some give gossip today. there. Do you guys want to see how Herbie has been this entire video? Okay. They said yeah. But there he is. He's been right in between my feet like Hello. that. Hello. Hello, Herbie. Such a little sweetheart. Right, guys, we love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed the tea. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Love ya.